do unto others as you would have them do unto you, or treat people the way that you would like to be treated. And Tony and I teach this, and we believe in the golden rule 110%, especially when it comes to values, ethics, morals, honesty, integrity, not being bullied, being treated with respect, treating others with respect. There's no better rule to live your life. But when it comes to one-on-one -on -one interpersonal communication, interpersonal relationships, if followed to the letter of the law, it can and often backfires. Not everybody wants to be treated the way I want to be treated. I'm a very spontaneous person. On the other hand, my wife likes planned spontaneity. So I'll go to the game tonight. As long as she knows about it a month ahead of time, she'll go to the game and be happy about it. So what would you imagine the platinum rule would say? Anybody? Uh, do unto others as? As they would have you do unto them. Treat them the way they want to be treated. What a difference that is. How many of you have ever had a boss or somebody who's asking you to do something and you just want to dig in your heels? And it's not what they're asking you to do, but it's how they're asking you to do that. Does that sound familiar? What a difference this is. If you just change how you ask someone to do something, tone of voice, how you focus the conversation, it could internally motivate them to want to do that thing, to be your friend, to go somewhere with you, to go out on a date with you. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to ask somebody a question in some way and they internally are motivated to want to do that thing? This is what we're going to learn how to do today. When you're driving a relationship, we're going to teach you only have to focus on two things. It's this simple. The speed, the pace, and how warm or cool you're coming across based on what you're seeing and that person's behavior. I'm going to show you now a two-step model to be able to identify a director, a socializer, a relator, and a thinker. These are the four types that we use. Now, if anybody has heard of something like this, there's a reason for it. This goes back 2,400 years to Hippocrates.